Hello everyone, this is Game Frost. In today's new video, we're going to see if we can run a DirectX game in Vulkan. And it's actually possible using DXVK. So let's find out. around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, good for me, anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. Be on the other side. I should check the objective point again. So in conclusion, DXVK is a cool tool to have um, if you want to uh, play games on your old GPU. I think it's better uh, to play games on a GPU that doesn't have... Um, proper direct like support or GPUs that just need a little bit more um, need a little bit more life but of course you already have things like AMD FSR and FSR 2.0 which I actually launched and these two options were actually pretty good um, if you want to give more life out of your uh, GPU so you could give FSR a try if your uh, game support I'm not sure if the GPU needs to support that too but yeah um, you know, in games like Scarlet Nexus, Nexus, for example, sorry, I had to use um, GeForce, basically, GeForce Experience uh, Recorder because of the fact that OBS would not work with Vulkan. And for some reason, we have, you know, more of a performance boost 
than uh than when we recorded on OBS for the DirectX version, which um, you know maybe it's because OBS couldn't identify it. I don't think OBS really identified Vulcan's games that much, especially when it's been modified. So that was pretty interesting. I know that OBS basically tanks out resources, but mind you that I'm recording all of this on my UHD 630 um, integrated graphics. So there, there's not supposed to be a performance loss. That's why you see GPU number two on MSI Afterburners overlay. So yeah, that's all I have to say. If you guys like this video, just leave a like. Uh, you know, if you want to subscribe, then you know hit that subscribe button. And yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.